these poor jazz cymbals. <laughs> I think I can maybe make it through it uh, uh, poorly. <laughs> so, JP, we uh, we do this with pretty much every drummer that comes through Drumeo, and we figured we'd put you through the ringer. The hazing, the pressure test. You uh, you came back like six years later, so it's about time, right? Yeah, no kidding. You, you were easy on me the first time. So we're gonna give you a song. It's by the band Mammoth WVH. Wolfgang Van Halen's band, Eddie Van Halen's son. The live drummer is Garrett Whitlock, but I believe Wolfgang actually plays drums on the studio version. So we're gonna play the studio version with the drums in there, and you're gonna have to learn it as fast as possible. You can do multiple listens, whatever you wanna do. The floor nice. is pretty much yours. Oh, so I could say, hey, the verse is done, pause. Yeah. Huh, okay. As fast as possible. <laughs> While getting as close to the original as possible. Okay. What's the song called? It's called uh, Another Celebration at the End of the World. Beautiful. Hold on, if someone wants to get me a crash to replace this jazz ride in the meantime, I'll take it. No pressure, no pressure. So, what do you think? I think I can maybe make it through it uh, uh, poorly. Nice. <laughs> so, what types of things uh, are you making note of? How long sections are is big, and what my right hand is doing is pretty big. So, is it on a crash? Is it on closed hi-hats? Bell, ride bell is in there at some point. If you change the kick pattern a little bit, no one's gonna notice unless they really know the song. But if you're playing closed hi-hats and it's supposed to be a ride bell, that's a pretty big difference. And then like feel changes, when it goes halftime, when it's all four snares. Those are the, the biggest markers. Yeah! Like, didn't you fill in for, for uh, Periphery on like a few days notice or something? Yeah, yeah. So is this the type of process you go through where you're just taking like rigorous notes? Yeah, except there's no as fast as possible with that. So it's more like, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, I'd be a little more detailed, right? Sometimes you can rely on your musical intuition to some degree because the sections, there's nowhere where there's like an extra two bars or like weird stuff that you'd have to really notate. So where I got kind of like quick with the notation is when I was thinking, I think I'll feel this. And of course, if there wasn't a, you know, time pressure, I'd make sure I knew. But here we are. Uh, we can get you like a music stand or something too if you want to. Uh... If you want to keep it like really we're on the gig, we'll just put it right here. All right, man. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> okay, here it is. Take. <laughs> there it is. You're a beast, dude. Far from perfect, these these poor jazz symbols. <laughs> I know, right? That's what they were made for. <laughs> the Big Apple ride is really proving its worth over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was that for you? Uh, you know, it's all right. It's all right. Made it to the end. I'd say on a cover gig, sure. So if you were to do another take of that, like anything you found on that first take that didn't work or that you missed? Um, definitely some stuff. I mean, if I were to do, spend a little more time with this, it would actually just be, I'd listen through again and get more of the details of some of the hits. Right, so there are some cat boom booms in there. There's like one more degree of, of subtlety that would be possible with another um, listen through with notes. 
you know, you hear the song a few more times and you start to just get to know the song better. And if you know the song really well, you don't have to be counting your way to the hits. You just know where they are. <laughs> do you want to do this once more? And we can also, we can take the drums out if you want. I mean, look, uh, sure, take them out. That'll be the real test here. <laughs> now, I, now I have to really count though, because when I can hear them, if I mess up, at least I know I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty, here it is.
was great, dude. Much better, much, much better. The other thing that I learned uh, when I was learning those tunes fast for the actual tours, and what I just relived there, the nerves of the first one clouds your vision like crazy. So what, what I did and what's a great um, thing to try if you have to learn a bunch of songs fast or something really hard is find a little audience to perform it in front of. I remember when I was doing Generation X and learning uh, the Animals as Leaders songs in just a couple days, um, I had some friends come to my studio and just like sit and like watch me play. And even though they're some of my best friends, you still get your nerves pumping, that adrenaline. So it's nice to get the first adrenaline filled experience out of the way because it does a little something for your brain. It's just different than when you're comfortable in the practice room. This tour was Steve Vai, Ingve Malmsteen, Zach Wild, Nuno Betancourt, and Tozen Abazi from the band Animals as Leaders. And there's one band for all of them. So everyone comes out together. It's, you know, total, if you can imagine being a guitar player, it's just like, oh my God, so many notes. I wasn't ever considered for that gig. I got called to sub because the drummer was starting to have some wrist issues. So I started learning those songs, the Animals as Leaders songs, really quickly, as fast as I could. And then as I got there, it started to become clear that I was gonna take over a little more of the show, and then suddenly, the whole show. And it was this. It was like my notebook, very similar notation, done a little more carefully. And then for the first week of the tour, my notebook just sat on my tongue, just like this. And if you look at videos from the tour, I'm like, not all the time, but when I need it, I'm peeking down at my notebook and sort of playing around it. I'm just trying to make sure I get through the sections of the song. <laughs> All right, gang, so my best attempt at learning another celebration at the end of the world as fast as possible. Lots of mistakes, but here we're weighing, you know, we're weighing uh, speed, accuracy. If I could sit with this for a couple of days, it'd be a lot more accurate, but then, you know, no one wants to watch a 48 hour YouTube video of me slowly learning a song, so it's the best I could do. And what a great song. And if you want to learn this song for yourself, Drumio has the transcription and the drumless play along that you can play along to. Just click the link below. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.